Just as strength, confidence, passion, and spirit come in every size and shape, so do the women that bring these beautiful qualities to life. These are the women that impress me and inspire my designs. Real women like you with real lives and real figures. Women who need fashionable, wearable, and washable to coexist. And I wanted to prove they can. So I put my lifelong love of fashion and years of creating custom designs to good use. I started creating versatile pieces made to fit women's bodies and all the living they choose to do in them. I call it life leisure. So let's get to it. Welcome to my virtual trunk show. Today, we're going to talk fit and style and see some of the pieces in my collection. I'm looking forward to sharing some stories and chatting one-on-one. -on -one. So go ahead and enter any questions you may have in the chat and I'll answer them for you after the show. I can't tell you how excited I am to showcase our latest designs and help you find pieces that will make you look and feel good. Pieces worthy of being seen and admired, just like you. Beautiful, incredible, strong, and chic. Just as strength, confidence, Hello and welcome everybody to our virtual trunk show where we're going to be featuring our spring summer collection. Um, I am Kia and thank you for coming. Um, so I always like to start these out by kind of talking about our um, models that we're going to use to showcase the collection. And so um, first up we have Roberta. Roberta is one of our sewers here. Um, she's five foot three, uh, 63 years old, and she typically wears a size 12 on top and on bottom. Um, in our brand, she um, likes a medium or large, depending on um, how she wants it to fit. Um, she, her body shape is she has mid body fullness. So that means her waistline is fuller than both her hips and her bust and um, very common um, body type, especially as we start to get a little older. Um, this is Mary. Mary is actually also one of our sewers. She is five foot eight, 50 years old. Um, she is a former nurse, um, typically wears a size 6'8", and in our brand, she wears a medium on the bottom and um, typically a large on top. She is full busted, and so that um, puts her in the category of upper body fullness, so her shoulders and or her bust are fuller than her waist and hips. Um, here we have Andrea, foot four. she's 53 years old. She typically wears a 12 on top and a 14, 16 on bottom. In our brand, she wears a large on top and an extra large on the bottom. 
Um, she has lower body fullness, which um, she, where, is where her hips are fuller than her bust and waist. And this is actually um, the most common body type. And then we have Demetria. Demetria is five foot nine. She is 50 years old. Um, she typically wears a size 10. Um, and she, in our brand, she wears a medium. She has evenly distributed fullness. So her bust, waist, and hips are relatively similar in size with slight to no waist definition. Um, and this is me. I also have the same um, body type as Demetria, just I'm much shorter. So I'm five feet tall, I'm 48 years old. I typically wear a six on the top, a four on the bottom. In, um, in my brand, I wear a small. And like I said, um, I don't have much of a waistline. Um, so when I design, having been a, a custom designer for a number of years, I do um, design based on figure, flattering figures. And I really try to keep in mind all the variety of body types, which is why I kind of um, detailed what these ladies were shaped like. Um, but if you um, have any questions about how you're shaped, not only can we help you, but we also have this um, free style guide on the website that asks you um, five or six quick questions and then determines what your body shape is based off those questions. And then it gives you a downloadable um, PDF that is specific to your body type. So um, this example I have here is, would be for fullness through the middle. And um, it not only tells you, explains your shape, um, um, also the overall goal um, that you can follow in trying to dress your shape, but also um, some styles within our collection that would work best for you, as well as just being helpful on how to shop in, in any brand. Um, it's, it's really helpful, I find, um, in today's day and age when there's a lot of um, online shopping. And so it kind of prevents you from, or reduces you from um, buying things that look good on a model, but may not, you know, you, when it arrives to you, you're not happy with the way it fits. And there's um, usually a reason why that it's not um, maybe the most flattering um, shape for your figure. So um, this will pop up, um, if you go to our website, uh, this will, should pop up. And if it doesn't there, you can scroll down on the homepage and there's a, a place where you can just um, click to click to take that quiz and, um, and this will be emailed to you. Um, here is our size chart, just to get um, a better understanding of the sizing. Um, we, our sizes run extra small to extra, extra large. Um, we are in the process of working on plus sizes that will go up to 3X, possibly 4X. Um, we actually have an exciting day of fit models coming in this weekend, so we can start uh, getting a grasp on that process. Um, so we do have um, a few pieces in the 1X, 2X, 3X, mainly in our NFL collection, um, but we have more styles coming soon. So if that is your size category, please stay tuned. So really excited about that. Um, so I'm gonna jump right in and start with some of our um, new styles for spring. So right here, we have the color blocked legging. And we're gonna move through um, some of the styling detailing. Um, I wanted to create a kind of slim, um, curved feminine shape. And so I did that by um, color blocking black on the sides and the waistline because black is always slimming, but then accentuating um, the rest of the body where um, it, the curved um, shape of the color block, the maroon um, kind of creates, helps create that hourglass um, appearance. And especially for someone like me who's straight bodied and don't have an hourglass, shape, this works, works really well to kind of give me that feminine, um, feminine figure appearance. Um, on the back, we, the color blocking detail is what we call a full seat. And we use this with our um, jeans, our equestrian jeans. And we just love the way this looked on all um, shapes and sizes of women. It's kind of like the miracle um, style line that if you have a smaller tush, this kind of makes you look like you've got a, a fuller tush. And if you actually have a big tush, it kind of cuts it in the back, cuts it in half and makes it appear smaller. So it's kind of um, been neat to watch how this has been fla a flattering style line on a variety of women. 
So here we have, we're gonna show you the looks on our models. So on the left, we have Roberta and she is wearing it with um, a shirt that we'll see later, which is our pleated cow neck top. Um, this shirt I actually designed for women that are fuller through the midsection. And so she's got a little room through the middle and it's also long enough, if you look at the back view, it's long enough to give her um, some coverage um, on her tush so that she, um, if she doesn't feel comfortable with that all out in the open, she, the shirt is long enough to do that. Um, Mary on the right, and if you remember, I said Mary was full busted. Um, so she is actually wearing our twisted tee. And this is the shirt that was famously added to Oprah's favorite things list um, this past November. Um, it, was, it was our top seller before Oprah um, picked it to put on her list and um, was even better after she named it, of course. So that's our twisted tee. We have a variety of colors, but the, re the, the reason that this shirt is um, so great is that if you look closely at her upper hip line, um, the shirt is smooth and then it blouses over, um, over her waistline. So it does a really nice job on a variety of body types to kind of give the appearance of an, 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 a waistline in an hourglass shape if you don't really have one. Um, so here are the pieces, the color block legging, the pleated cow top and the twisted tee. And then you can also see which colors they're available in. We've got wine and teal um, were, were our main colors for this season. Next up is our ankle tie top. Um, so every season I like to design one piece that, um, I, that I think is kind of a neat idea and something super unique. Um, but I'm not really sure how people will receive it. And um, it's okay, I wanna take that risk because it's something that I, that I really want. And I'm always surprised to see how people's responses, for the most part, it usually takes a season or two for people to realize, like to kind of catch on and realize they like the style. Um, but surprisingly, um, as unique as this piece is, um, this has been our top seller this season. So I was really excited about that, um, that people really, um, embrace this kind of really fashion forward, unique look. Um, the model is wearing it with a pair with the leggings. Um, and I did intentionally design the leggings with the white stripe on the left side so that it, um, it would show when you wore it with um, this look. Um, but we're gonna look at it in some other, on some other styling. And so here on the website, it looks like this with um, our basic skirt and this I just think provides like such a unique hemline um, with the, the short, the shorter skirt and then the extended tie. And here we are on um, three different ladies. Roberta on the left, she has the same look that the model had on, um, but she has the tunic tank on under it. And you'll notice that this um, ankle tie top was cut with um, a kind of a more of a halter shoulder line. So if you look at, it's kind of cut in with like an athletic cut at the shoulders. Um, that does require for the most part wearing um, a halter style bra or a bra that you could like clip the straps in the back or a strapless bra so your straps, if you don't want your straps to show. Um, with Roberta, we put the tunic top underneath it and then that created more shoulder coverage um, so that she could wear a regular bra without the bra strap showing. But it also, um, the tunic top is long. Um, and so it also provides more coverage. This ankle tie top does show, will show skin at your waistline if you don't have um, anything underneath it, like the basic skirt with the waistband pulled up or with tunic underneath it will show a little peak of skin, um, which I think we saw in the mo on the model. Yeah, you can see a little bit on the middle frame. And I think she has the, that's with the waistband extended high. Um, so that's me in the middle, same look, skirt and um, ankle tie. And then on the right, we have Mary with the legging on. And so Mary, you can see um, a good vision of how much her shoulders are extended beyond the shirt. And here go the pieces in um, some other colorways.
All right, next up is the open tunic. So this I designed because after I designed the ankle tie top that we just looked at, I thought, okay, nobody's gonna buy that. That's too far out there. And so I created this version, which um, from the top to the um, midsection is the same. Um, although I will say the neckline is different. On this one, it's more of a crew neck. On the ankle tie top, it is a halter neck. So it's higher up if you can look here. It has, um, it's a little bit higher necked. Um, this one's more of a crew neck. Um, so this one, yes, this is a tunic length, still has the same side opening. I think you can see a little peak of skin on the model here. Um, and here we have it. It's the same amount of coverage. And here we have it on our model. So Roberta on the left, um, she has it on. You can get a better look at the tunic tank underneath it and how that gives her extra coverage, gives her extra coverage at the shoulders, like I mentioned, but also at the, um, the backside as well. Then Mary is wearing the tunic with, I believe that's our drape pocket jogger. And, um, and we put the, one of our gold belts, uh, this is like my favorite accessory because it always just elevates any look, but she has the gold belt underneath the tunic. So you get a little bit of glimpse of the metal um, kind of bling on the side. It's like a little surprise treat there. And here are the pieces. So we've got our tunic tank. Oh, excuse me. Our open tunic, our color block legging, the tunic tank, which we have in black and white, and our drape pocket jogger. And the drape pocket jogger, I don't know that we, I think we do focus on this a little bit later. I'll hold that comment. Okay, so next up we have um, two new pieces. It's the bag pant and the cutout top. The bag pant we actually had um, in the heavier fleece weight for fall and we loved it so much that we wanted to bring it through um, to spring. So now we have it in the Jersey weight, it's lighter weight. Um, Jersey fabric. I actually had it on um, earlier, those pants on earlier today. I live in those. They are the most comfortable pant and I feel like I'm super um, fashionable in them just with tennis shoes on. And then she's wearing it with our color blocked um, cutout top. So we're gonna look at the bag pant first and here it is. And the inspiration for this was, um, I just wanted something that felt like I was, you know, lounging at home, but looked, um, fashion forward and chic. And so um, that's what it is. It's essentially a bag with footholes in it. Um, and there are pockets. And our signature waistband, six inches tall, double layer. You can wear it high-waisted like the model is here, or you can roll it over like a, a yoga pant, which makes it great for um, fitting a bunch of different height women, um, because that's also an easy way to lengthen and shorten the item by using the waistband to either um, high waist it and, and pull it down a little bit or pull it up and, and roll it over to, to make it shorter. And for our, especially for our maxi pant and some of our other long pants, that's a great way to keep a pant that you can, one pant that can go with both heels and flats. And here is our cutout top. Um, it's in the uh, two-tone color block. Um, so the neck is, the neck hole fits, you know, kind of close crew neck around and then um, the cutout, depending on how broad your shoulders are, it will, it will either sit on your shoulder or it can slide off a little bit to um, kind of mid shoulder and either of them look fine. It doesn't look like it's falling off. It's just some people have asked why it looks different on them than on the model. And it really depends on how broad your shoulders are. So here you can see that this, on this model, how it's coming off her shoulders because her shoulders are more narrow. And it has the curved shirt tail hem, looks good either tucked in or, um, or left out. And here we have um, on, on Roberta on the left, we have the bag pant. And with it, she is wearing the sleeveless twisted tee. So this is the, sleeveless version of Oprah's favorite, the shirt that was named to Oprah's favorite things list. And you can see what I mean about kind of creating the waistline is that Roberta is full through the middle, but by keeping this top um, 
smooth across her upper hips and then blousing it over, it gives the appearance of um, more of a waistline that, line than she actually has. And then um, Mary on the right um, with the bag pant as well and the cutout, and she has the cutout tucked in so you can see how that works. And here goes some more looks. Now Mary has the cutout out of the, out, not tucked in. And with Roberta, now we have the cutout top and the basic skirt. So I intentionally put the black on the bottom of the color blocked version to create more of um, a lengthening look as with the color, keeping the, the bright color up near the face. And here are the pieces. The cutout top we also have in solid black. So we've got it in the wine and the gray. And then another version is the teal and the black. And then third is just a solid black top, which um, I usually wear for um, the zooms because it's just an interesting neckline. Um, looks great on zoom. And then the bag pant we have in black, neutral gray, wine, and teal. And our basic skirt we carry in, um, in all colors. Okay, here's the pleated cow top. I mentioned this earlier. So this is the shirt I designed for women that were fuller, specifically fuller through the middle. Now it looks great on everyone, um, but I had a customer come in shopping with their mom, brought their mom in, and um, the mom was struggling to find something that she felt comfortable in um, that didn't cling to her waistline more than she felt comfortable in. And so I immediately thought like, oh, that's, what some, that's something I need to work on. And so this is one of the shirts that I came up with. The cutout top also that we just talked about is the same way where it's just, it's got some um, more room. There's actually, um, I gave it a little bit of a flare in the front to give it some extra room so that it wouldn't hang cling tight. But this one you can specifically see there's a asymmetrical pleat that gives it a nice little bit of drape. And here's another picture. I, again, I use the curve um, shirt tail hemline. I always think that that's super flattering um, as opposed to a hemline that just goes straight across the hips. And um, you can see that there's still some length in the back to give a little bit of cush, um, excuse me, a little bit of coverage in the, on the tush. And here's our maxi dress. Um, so a great just spring summer dress. Um, it does also have pockets. So there's pleats on the front and the back. Oops. Um, and this dress is great for layering as well. Um, you could use our mini duster for extra coverage when it's chilly. Um, also the next look that we're gonna look at is the halter top. The, also, the halter top also works over this. Um, I put it on the other day over my maxi pant and that gave it like just a really cool kind of panted dress um, look. Um, so here is the halter top that I mentioned. Um, now this, of course, our, the model here used in this photo shoot was smaller breasted, but we are gonna show it on um, Mary and with some other ways that you can kind of get around that. So same here, it's pretty revealing, great for summer. Um, for women with larger busts are probably gonna need um, some extra bra support. Um, but I'm gonna show you the different ways that we have it here. So the maxi dress um, can also be worn as a skirt. So on the left, um, Roberta would not feel comfortable wearing it as a strapless dress. So she has it as a maxi skirt. So she just rolled the waistband down because it's just like our normal six inch, um, yoga style waistband. So she rolled it down and then she put on our twisted tee, which is the Oprah shirt. Um, and now she has um, a really nice kind of similar aesthetic of the floor length dress. Mary is in the middle picture, Mary's wearing the strapless dress, just like, um, like it's designed, just the, the plain old dress. But on the right, I wanna show you that Mary now has the halter top on top of the dress. And so Mary, I can't remember what size bra she is, um, I think, I know she's at least a D, 
um, possibly, I want to say, I think she might be bigger. Um, but by wearing the halter over the strapless dress, she still gets that halter style line, but she gets the coverage as well. So she can easily wear a strapless bra under that. She can wear a halter bra under that where the you kind of affix the straps to the bra and then up and around the neck and back down. And then, and this combination um, also works with our bandeau. So if you put the bandeau on, the halter on, and then you could wear it with any of the bottoms that we have. So for example, you could wear this halter with a bandeau and um, one of our joggers or one of our, or a, a, one of our basic skirt, um, our maxi pant, like the model earlier had it on. You can also mix and match the colors and create different combinations of, you know, a bandeau in black and a halter in teal. Um, next up, we have the cutout onesie, which is actually what I'm wearing tonight. Uh, I just wanted to say, if you follow our brand, uh, probably every season, I think I design like a one piece, like jumpsuit of some sort. Uh, I just love a jumpsuit because to me, there's no thought involved in getting dressed. You can just, you know, put it on. I don't have to worry about what I'm wearing it with, what I'm matching it to, where's the top, where's the bottom. It's just um, an easy, easy piece. And really the only thing I think about is do I want to dress it up today or dress it down? So am I in tennis shoes or um, am I in heels? So here's the onesie um, with kind of a unique um, neckline. And this neckline is um, cool, but you can wear it with a regular bra on without strap showing. I have a regular bra on tonight. Um, you can also wear the onesie with a um, waist scrunchie um, if you want to define the waist a little bit more. Um, from, for me, that's not something that I wanted to do. Um, if I did, because I am straight bodied, I would wear the waistband a little bit higher than my natural waistline since I don't really have a waistline. Um, okay, here we have our power romper. And this is like one of the styles that I mentioned before. Um, I designed this because I, it was something that I want and I thought it would be cool. Didn't really care if anybody else liked it. And it took, um, it actually took quite a while to catch on. Um, but now it is one of our favorites. Like women who have this usually have it in, in both black and white, which is what we initially offered it in. Now we have it also in the teal, in the wine and in neutral gray. And this is, I tell people this all the time, whenever I have, an event or something to go to and I don't really feel like getting dressed, this is the outfit that I wear because I don't have to think about it. It's one piece I can pull it on. I can easily put um, some heels on, some big clunky um, jewelry at the neckline and uh, it immediately looks super dressy and um, yet I'm comfortable and feel like I'm in my pajamas. But I also wear it with tennis shoes. Um, I put a cami under it. I put a long sleeve shirt under it. Um, you could easily take it um, down a notch. Um, beach cover up, I've worn it for that as well. And here's our front and back version. Now this looks like it would have pockets in it. This does not have pockets. So I just want to be, um, make that point out. We try to put pockets in everything that we can possibly put pockets in, um, but the pockets on this would have um, interfered with the drape of the fabric. And so we did not put pockets in it. And here we have it on our models, um, Mary and Roberta. I think both Mary and Roberta both own this outfit. Um, I know Mar um, Roberta for sure in the middle black, she actually has it in both colors. And I think looking forward to the new colors that we're adding it into. And you can see how it looks great over, um, even though she's fuller through the middle, it really brings the attention up to her neckline. You don't see the midsection with her, with the umpire um, style line. Mary on the left, um, you can see she's full busted, but still this works well for her. And Demetria, um, very small busted, but um, also very tall. And so you can see how this looks on her body type. And I'm five foot tall. And like I said, I do wear this all the time, um, have not altered it. Um, next up is our sheet shirt. And so the sheet shirt is actually a two layer, kind of like a two layer tank top. The under layer is fitted. And then the over layer or the sheet as we call it, um, extra layer was meant to provide a little bit of 
um, camouflage. Um, on the left, the model has the sheet under going under her arm, but you can also bring the sheet over your arm and wear it like a cape on one side, which um, the model on the right, that's how she's wearing it. It's just not a good angle to see how um, that looks. So here it is on a model on the website. And here we have it on um, our three different ladies. So um, really I wanted to show this to show how um, we paired it up with different things. So we've already seen it on the gown skirt in the red. We saw it on the drape pocket jogger that the model had on um, next to the model in the red. Actually, let me just back up so you can see that. So we've got it on the in the gray with the pocket jogger. We've got it on the right with the, our gown skirt and a formal look. We've got it here with the pair of shorts and on all three ladies are all wearing it with something different. And so that's what I really wanted to bring home that that's the way I design is that um, things can mix, mix and match and you can um, bring them to the level of dress and to the spe specific occasion that you're um, intending them for, but also use them in, any other occasion. So you may have bought it to wear because you like that gown skirt and you have an evening event to go to, but then you can throw it on with some shorts and do some regular casual stuff. So on the left, Demetria is wearing it with our basic skirt, Roberta in the middle with our handkerchief hem skirt, and Andrea on the right is wearing our harem pant, which is, uh, that's another style that I designed that um, really took off surprisingly. Okay, next up is our twisted tee. So the twisted tee is the Oprah, uh, the tee, the shirt that was named to Oprah's favorite things. I don't want to call it the Oprah tee, um, but it's the t-shirt that was named to Oprah's favorite things list. And so you can see here what I was talking about, keep it, keeping it smooth across the upper hip line and then bloused over to really accentuate a waistline, whether you have one or not. Um, oh, I'm going to point out on the right side, the model, she has the open tunic and she actually has it tucked into the bag pant. So you can see how, um, how that looks tucked in and it still shows, has a little tiny peak of skin there. So here we have the twisted tee on the drape pocket jogger. Um, next up, and I, this might be our last style that we're going to look at, the drape pocket shorts. Um, the drape pocket shorts I designed because I don't like to, I never wore shorts. I don't like to wear shorts. I have full thighs and the fabric when I walk kind of just like gets stuck in my thighs and kind of rides up and I'm constantly pulling it out and it just is not a good, uh, not a good look for me. So I designed these shorts to have where the inseam or the crotch is lower than a typical short. And so um, it gives, and then the pleating gives extra room through the legs. And so the shorts don't get caught on either the fullness of my thighs or the rubbing as I walk. And they're styled like a, um, kind of like a flouncy skirt, um, a little bit high angle, hired angled on the side um, and um, large kind of draped pockets. Um, so here we have it on all the ladies. And I wanna say this was funny because when we shot these photos, all three of these ladies said, I do not wear shorts and we're not happy about having to put the shorts on. But once we got them in the shorts, um, they actually liked the shorts and we're like, oh, I, I would wear these shorts. So um, I think that was a good uh, testimony to see those ladies kind of change, change their mind on that. Mary on the left is wearing it with the sheet shirt that we um, just looked at. Roberta on the right has the sleeveless twisted shirt on and Demetria all the way on the far right um, has it with one of our um, very original designs called the Peep T shirt, which is a more of a fitted off the shoulder asymmetric top that you can kind of um, create rushing through the midsection. And our wrap jogger. So this model is, gonna, is the model on the left. She's displaying the wrap jogger, um, even though we've used this picture already. Um, and here we have it on all three ladies. And I, you'll notice that I like to design a lot of asymmetrical things, whether it's off the shoulder or, you know, an, an asymmetrical hemline or cut, asymmetrical cutout, um, this leg wrap, asymmetrical. And the reason I do that is because I think it's, it's, it, it is elongating. It keeps um, the person looking at you, it keeps kind of their eyes from getting bored with vertical and horizontal. And it really 
makes the eye line go in this case from left to right following the body and kind of taking the whole visual in instead of just looking at like horizontal waistline or um, straight pant. So I think it just creates an at, um, definitely um, an element of interest. Um, Demetria is wearing it with our sleeveless twisted. Andrea in the middle has our twisted tee. And Roberta on the right is wearing it with our basic tee and our mini duster over top of it. Mini duster is a great layering piece. Um, we do them in um, several different colors and um, also really good gifts. We sell a lot of those for gifts. And the harem pants. So I mentioned this one earlier briefly um, when one of the models was wearing it. And this is another one of the designs um, that I didn't think was gonna catch on that took a couple seasons. And now um, it is um, a very good seller. So this is, um, some people refer to, like to refer to it as like an MC Hammer pant. Um, I think people refer to our bag pant as that too. Um, what I wanna show is that this, um, these openings do go all the way up to the waistline, but there are little shorts that are built into the pants. So if you were walking along and got a good gust of wind and the slit blew open, there are like little biker shorts that are sewn into um, this look. And here we have it with all three ladies. I will say I did um, attend a wedding wearing this harem pant and our sling top. And, um, and I will say it was like a Friday night wedding. Saturday morning, I got up and I put on the same harem pants, but with just a regular t-shirt and a pair of tennis shoes and um, ran my errands. And so just a testament to the versatility of this piece, as well as all of the pieces that we design, everything that we design, I, will, I like to see it in heels and in tennis shoes. Okay, and lastly, I don't remember why I put this slide in, but um, I know that the middle picture I wanted to show how um, that we do, although I like to design or I like to wear things monochromatically um, because I like the uh, polish. To me, it just feels like a really polished and powerful look all in one color, plus I'm only five feet tall. So that is kind of a lengthening um, and elongating trick. Um, but I did wanna show how um, you can mix and match because people do ask that. Um, we, I do like to use our waist scrunchies. I always like to add a third color. If I'm gonna wear two different colors, I like to add a third color. And a waist scrunchie is a great way to do that. Um, we use these for everything. You can use it as a bandeau. You can use it as a belt like Andrea has. Um, sometimes I use it as like a fanny wrap. So I would pull it down um, straight from my waistline, like to kind of cover my hips a little bit. Um, so very, very useful. We talked about it using it with the halter top earlier. 